dreamers. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done a video. Don't get mad at me. Um, but it's been pretty hectic with the holidays. Hope you guys are enjoying yours. You guys enjoy Thanksgiving with your families. If you're celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video because I am so thankful right now for interlocking. And I thought I would do a video talking about all the reasons why I love interlocking and prefer it just me personally and my style and how like the patience that I have what I prefer it over palm rolling the way that I kind of came about wanting to interlock is because I honestly wanted sister locks but I couldn't afford them and so I kind of had to do a pro and con you know do I have the patience to do it myself is it worth it if I mess it up or should I just suck it up and save up the money and get a sister lock petition to do it? And, you know, fork out that money, sit through those sessions, and then, you know, have the ongoing cost of like the maintenance and getting it retightened by someone else. Um, and, you know, ultimately I figured, you know, I kind of know what I'm doing. I've watched enough YouTube videos to kind of know like what, how it's supposed to work. And sure enough, um, June 1st of 2015, I finished up my masterpiece. Granted, when they were done, they were like this short. So my dress have come a long way. And it's so funny seeing people that I went to like high school with, how they tell me how long my dress have gotten. And I'm like, oh, really? I mean, it could be longer. <laughs> I'm never satisfied. I ultimately decided on interlocks is because I knew that I wanted my dreads to be smaller. So I think that personally interlocking is ideal if you have um, smaller locks, uh, especially just with like the parting and you know, trying to keep all your sections uh, even and together. I think with bigger locks, you have bigger sections, bigger parts. So it's not as difficult to simply like palm roll it um, and keep everything kind of like from matting together and from the dreads kind of forming together. But when they're smaller, it's a little bit more difficult. Interlocking is like ideal for, you know, if you want to make sure that you're not uh, combining any locks by accident. Um, it's come in handy for just uh, it, keeping it clean. I mean, I know some people, and, and I'm not one of these people that feels like, you know, their dreads have to be clean all the time and look like they were freshly retightened all the time. Um, but I will say that I can go, personally, I think I can go a lot longer between retightening versus someone that palm rolls. Um, that's not to say that you have to go longer or shorter or anything like that than me, but. Um, I know that some people that I, that I know that have uh, that palm roll their locks when they retighten them starts to look a little bit messier sooner than like if you had interlocked your hair. So that's another thing that I, I personally preferred with interlocking versus palm rolling. Another one would be the shampooing. <laughs> it's a lot easier to wash my hair because they're interlocked and I don't have to worry about you know anything coming undone or unraveling, especially when they were starter locks. The only thing that I had to remember to do was to band my hair, which I did a terrible job of, and you guys can see, you'll hear all about it in my uh, Five Long Mistakes video. Um, but when it came to washing my hair and shampooing my hair, I didn't have to worry about a dread coming undone or unraveling, me having to completely palm roll it again or anything like that. Like my hair is locked in on itself. It's sewed into itself, so it was. I didn't have to worry about any of that. I know that with some uh, people with like smaller locks, micro locks, or sister locks, they sometimes have to worry about slippage. Uh, I didn't have any issues with slippage, and I don't know if that's because my hair is a little bit more coarse um, than some. I think that slippage is more of a problem for people who never band and probably have like wispier or thinner hair, you know, hair that's a little bit like a looser curl pattern. Um, because I know that with sister locks, you can do it on even hair that's relaxed or straight. Another reason why I love interlocking is just, I like how compact and I guess uniform my dreads look. Um, and that was throughout the process. So I know when it comes to palm rolling, and this is something that my mom and my sister were worried about when I home fold my mom's hair and I two strand twisted my little sister's hair. She was always, you know, complaining about, oh, it looks so bumpy or it doesn't look like, you know, like a perfect, cylindrical dread and all this other stuff and I just was saying like you know that's part of the starter process you know the dreads are gonna expand they're gonna contract their the strands are kind of nodding and budding so it, it, they're not gonna look perfect during the starter lock phase and even during the, the teenage phase they're not gonna look like 100% perfect and mature so but once they mature I know palm rolled locks really start to smooth out and fall and hang and just look freaking gorgeous so this is the second 
Thank you. Um, they're not gonna look like perfect and smooth, um, like you know, people who've had their locks for, you know, five years plus. So um, that was another thing I didn't really want to worry about or consider or, you know, especially because I was doing it myself again. So if there was any moment where I felt like I completely screwed it up, it would have been there because I would have been like, why is it so lumpy? Why is it so bumpy? Why is this one hard and this one's not? You know, so I just, I wasn't going to deal with that at all. But again, that's not to say that um, interlocking is for everyone. Like I said, I, I comb pull up my mom's hair because I knew she was not about to sit through six hours of retightening her own hair and she definitely wasn't gonna pay money for someone else to interlock it. And because she was overseas, uh, it was easier for her to just, you know, leave it alone, really. She would wash her hair and then she would wrap it up. So like, it wasn't like she had her hands in her hair, she was doing a bunch of stuff, so. I was pretty confident that her hair would dread in no time. And when it did, it still wouldn't be an issue because she didn't have to do too much with it. With my sister, she has super, super thick hair. Um, it's super long too. And what she originally wanted me to do was she wanted me to interlock her hair. And I was like, girl, my hair is so much thinner than yours and it's shorter than yours. It took me two weeks. I refuse. Basically, and I, I wanted to really share with you guys this because I am over the moon right now grateful for the fact that I started my dreads with interlock like the interlocking method because I know that I've hinted to this with you guys about a dread that tragically lost its life <laughs> because I knotted it by accident well I know I haven't gone too much into why that became such a problem other than you know just there's a knot in your dread was because the way that I chose to try and solve it was by cutting the knot, as if that was going to untangle it, or I, I don't know. I, I cut the knot, trying to like make it, you know, so that my dread was like still kind of uniform, and no one could tell that I knotted my dread, as if anyone would have been able to tell in the first place. And I went to do one of these numbers, and it came right off. Right off. And I gotta say, that was the most depressing moment my dread journey because you always think like oh I'm not gonna lose any dreads like that just won't be me because I won't do anything you know stupid with my hair I won't um, cut them off by accident and I think I was just upset because it was me I was the reason that I lost that dread and it wasn't because of like you know some uh, you know illness or oh, I got sick or I'm not eating right or I was like, tightening my dreads too often it was just because I was just being stupid that's why that happened and it honestly the the hair was too short for me to do anything with it I couldn't reattach it like via palm rolling um, so I tried to braid it and twist it I managed to sew the dread back through the hair that was remaining on here enough so that it would stay, but then I had to take yarn to wrap the dread again so that it wouldn't come apart. And it lasted like that for a year, a solid year. I was washing my hair and I went to do the same, you know, the thingies to my hair, and sure enough, it came right out. It came right out again. And I knew it was a temporary fix, but it still did not have to do that to me. It still did not have to. I could have gotten some sort of warning, something. I've been pulling on my hair all day, but no, when I wash it, when I'm feeling it, this there was a game changer, and the game changer was, it had been a year. So the hair that still remained attached to my head was longer. I would had more options as far as how I was actually going to retight, like reattach my drag. And here is a video showing me how I did it. But because I suck and didn't realize that my phone was gonna die, it cuts off right at the interesting part. So I am going to include a link at the bottom of this video to the YouTube video that I used and went by. And I believe the woman was, she has sister locks and she was actually, I think, adding um, extensions to her locks. So I took that, flipped it, reattached it, and it's, oh my goodness, it's, uh, you can't even, I can't even find the dread half the time, but it's right here. And I can tell because it's in the front, and the same dread behind it is a lot longer. So this short one right here, that's the one I reattached, and this is the one that, just for length's sake, so you guys know how much hair I lost. It's such a stupid mistake. 
hand up. So I think between this point and this point is where the, the actual attachment happens. So where I actually interlocked um, the thread attached to my head back with the one that kind of fell off. So it's between these two points. And you'll understand that a little bit more when you watch what I did and watch the video of the woman that was adding the extensions. You'll see how I managed to get that thread back in. Hey guys, this is the big reattachment video. As you can see, I've got my dread that I cut off. I've combed out the ends and separated it into two sections. The piece that I'm reattaching, I'll refer to as the extension. And I've combed out the ends of that as well and separated it into two sections too. I'm going to be using my interlock tool, the smallest size that I have, just so that I'm not disrupting the length of my dread or causing any holes. And I'm going to put that yarn needle through the dread that's attached to my head and I'm going to be taking one of the sections from the extension and basically sewing it back into the length of my dread and I'm going to be doing that several times just to make sure that it has a good foundation and no amount of me yanking or pulling on it will cause that to untangle or unravel so I'm pulling it through my hair now through the dread and then I'm going to go back through with my yarn needle and pull that same section through the other side and I know this video cuts off I'm so sorry guys wish I had gotten more but I hope that this gave you a good idea and it's been you know it's been great ever since you know he's loving being back and you know we've been reconnecting and catching up and <laughs> that was like really like the last thing about my dreads that I just was really upset about it was always like in the back of my mind like oh my dreads are attached I can't attach it they're not perfect but now I'm happy with it so, I just thought I'd share with you guys what I'm thankful for and why I love interlocking and why I chose to go the interlocking route. Uh, share with me if you guys are interested in interlocking or if you found some way to reattach your dress with palm rolling or whatever. I'm not a stylist or electrician or anything. I'm pretty sure I've already said that. So, I have no idea how they do it in the salon. It may have been a lot easier than what I did, but um, if you guys know of any other methods, Feel free to share them down below and comment, subscribe, let me know you guys' thoughts. Uh, and like I said, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Take care.